is Toya from Toya Doing Stuff in the Garden. Thank you so much for clicking. I appreciate you. Today, I am going to be giving you a tour in my Zone 6A garden. I'm on uh, suburb of Chicago, and I'm just going to be showing you one of my favorite beds that I have here in my garden. I call it my hump bed. And let's just get started, okay? Um, this bed, I'm very proud of. And it's, I'm just going to walk around and give you a circle. This bed, I am very proud of. It took me years with S <laughs> to figure out exactly what to put in this bed because it's fighting with this tree for nutrients. And the root system under this tree is very, it's, it's big and vigorous. So it's fighting for that, and then I don't barely water. I could, but it's kind of a hassle. So I don't really water this bed unless necessary. This is a water as needed bed. So I was trying to find things that really could survive those elements. And I think I have finally, finally figured that out. So I'm going to start over here in the corner as we make our way back around. I started putting Creeping Jenny in this bed. I, my goal and desire is that it would just kind of take over the whole bed. And I have a bunch of Creeping Jenny in containers and I'm excited because when the season is almost over I will definitely be planting them in this bed. To continue the creeping Jenny, I also have some ajuga with the same hopes. I feel like the ajuga and the creeping Jenny playing together as a ground cover would be amazing. So that's what those are, y'all. If you haven't seen, I had a, did a little plant haul and I bought this runner up because usually the rabbits don't mess with it, right? Go back and check out my video. I planted it. Here's the tag it's called Sea Heart. And they ate it down to the nub, but it's growing back. I don't understand. The rabbits this season are crazy, but I'm not even going to talk. We're not giving the rabbits no, we're not talking about them today. So I do have a drift of runner right here. I have five of them. These are the, what is it? Jack of Diamond, Jack of Diamond, Jack of Diamond, Jack of Diamond, Queen of Hearts, Queen of Hearts. Um, I have hosta here. I'm not sure what that is called. I have, these I just planted yesterday. These are big blue liriope. I planted three of those. These are some Virginias. I'm not sure the variety. I have, I think, four of them. One, two. This actually was one. But now it looks like it's two now. And there's one there. And one there. I have a drift of fresco blue grass there's one there one there one there and then I just added one there uh, what else is over here there's some hookah right here it's, it's like I'll see one two three four these hostas I just planted and they're struggling because it is so hot these are Vulcan. I really love these. That's why I bought it. I really like the variegation in this. Like the outside has the dark green, the light green, and the white stripe. I really like that. It's Vulcan. This is a, it's not a Jack Frost, Autumn Frost. It's a, it's a variation of the Autumn Frost, but that is brand new too. I just got that a couple weeks ago. I believe that's a Holy Guacamole. Pasta. It's getting big. I appreciate her. I have another one over here, and it's very small compared, and they were the same size. So I don't know why well, that one's so big and that one's so small. We got some caladium bulbs that are popping up. Some hookah there. These uh, hellebores. I am going to have to come back and cut these off. I think it's time. Got elephant ear bulbs starting to pop up here. Got some hookah that I actually kept a tag for. Hookah, coral bells, 
melting fire. We got a melting fire there and a melting fire there. Some more hellebores, hellebores. That's the summon substance, Hasa. And she is doing amazing. Look at her. It's been here for three seasons now. And it's getting bigger. Every season it gets bigger and bigger. These are I think green spice okras here. There's three of them. And this is approval winners. I forget what kind that is in there in the middle. These are some dwarf Jacob ladders. I need to cut these down as well. It looks like they need to get cut back. Some grasses that were here. These are some catch fly dead nettle that I moved from the back because the rabbits were eating them, but they don't seem to bother them here. Some more hostas, hookahs, oh, hookahs, here, some lambing on there, I need to go back and cut those, those are finished blooming, do you guys leave your blooms on your hookahella, and your hookahs, and hostas, I do for my hookahs, and tiarellas, and hookahellas, but I don't for my hostas. <laughs> I don't like the hosta blooms. But guys, that is it. It's a very quick tour. I just wanted to um, do these tours so we could kind of look back at the season. See how everything is growing. I would say this is the most consistent bed because, I mean, everything is pretty much like this. <laughs> All season. So I will be coming back and checking in with you later this season. Hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you